Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my July update to the 365 Days of Eyeshadows Challenge that was created by Jessica Lee. I do have her link down below. There is a playlist of others who are doing this challenge as well, and of course I have them linked below, as well as my playlist, in case you guys want to go back and see all the looks I've created and all the eyeshadows that I have worked on since the beginning of January. Basically, the goal is to wear one new or one different eyeshadow for every single day of the year. It's a way to just kind of use our palettes, make sure everything's still good. Um, and so I'm trying to do this along with all the different eyeshadows that I am panning. So it's been a lot of fun and I am really enjoying this. I am working with my friend Jen and she and I have come up with themes every month for these eyeshadows and the theme that we used for the month of July was food or candy related products or eyeshadows I should say. So uh, before I get into that let me just quickly tell you I made a mistake when I was doing my makeup and I decided to clean up a Z palette that I had some eyeshadow in or some, a magnetic palette and I got a little bit of ColourPop Hungry Ghost all over so you guys are going to see random glitter pieces all over me because you know how it is when you touch glitter it gets everywhere. Also, my nails yesterday were pristine, and of course, I wasn't filming yesterday, and now that I'm filming today, they look terrible. So we're rolling with it. We're just going to go ahead and update you guys on the progress, let you see all the photos that I have taken. I do have the swatches, and I will be putting those up on the on the screen and explaining how I got the looks. I am not doing one individual eyeshadow a day. What I'm doing is I'm taking five or six days out of the month where I will only wear these eyeshadows and, and I create a whole look and then I show them to you guys along with the swatches. So let's go ahead and get started with the first palette that I used is my Glam Light Donut Palette. It looks like this. And for this look, I do have it swatched out, but I'm using these pinks these purples and then this one in the center. So let's go ahead and take a, a, a look at that uh, eye look. So as you guys can see, I did start off this look with the pink matte jelly on the inner corner of my eyelid and then I put the matte so sweet, the purple on the outer portion of my eyelid and then I kind of mirrored that with the shimmers. I put the shimmer strawberry on the inner portion of my lid. I put grape on the outer portion of my lid and then I used the shade glazed as kind of my inner corner highlight and the very inner portion of my eyelid. I think overall this was probably the favorite look that I did that you guys enjoyed. I wore this in one of the videos and I got several requests for a get ready with me or a tutorial something showing how I created this look. I will do that It'll probably be coming in August. I'm just uh, a little bit swamped right now with videos. So when I get a break, I will try to film a get ready with me and show you guys how I created this look. So let's go ahead and get on to look number two. For look number two, I used one eyeshadow out of my Glam Light Burger Slider palette. I used this shade Lettuce right here. And then for the rest of the eye look, I used my Glam Light Street Taco palette. I was trying to match up the greens. So I used, let's see, this shade, this, this, um, what else did I use? <laughs> I used, I know I used these shimmers. Anyway, I'll get into the look, but this is basically the palette that I used to create this next look. So, all right, if you guys take a look at the picture, I did start the look off with Limon, which is kind of a more neon lime green uh, than the swatch tends to look and then I darken that up a little bit in the crease with lettuce that is more of a kind of more of an army green and then I took the two shades pollo and carne asada and I mixed those together kind of did them in the outer corner and blended that through my transition to deepen that up because I did not have a dark green color to work with. And then on the eyelid, on the outer portion of the eyelid, I put the shade Carnitas. And then on the inner half of my eyelid, I used Guacamole. So that's how I created that really pretty green look. You guys did like this one as well. I really liked how, um, I'll pull up the palette here, but how this one, how these two uh, look together, these two shimmers, obviously this one's a little bit brighter and this one is um, a little bit more brown, kind of more, uh, it, 
it looks a little more army green than it does um, in here in the pan, but I loved how those work together in that eye look. The next eyeshadow look I did use the Glam Light Chocolate Donut Palette. This one is a complete neutral palette. It's probably easier to tell you what I didn't use because I used eight eyeshadows. I used everything but these two. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, literally everything except for these two. So let me go ahead and pop that up on the screen so that you guys can see that next look. So for this one, I did start out with the lightest brown, the shade Sweet Filling, and I blended that throughout my crease. I darkened it up with the shade Chocolicious, and then I took Eclair and Double Chocolate again, put that in my outer V and blended that through my crease to kind of get that a little bit darker. And then I used four different shimmers for this look. I was having a lot of fun. So I used the shade Marble on the very outer portion of my eyelid. As you can see, it's kind of a shimmery dark brown. Then I kind of uh, blended that over into the shade Sweet Tooth, which is kind of more of a bronzy brown. And then on the inner portion of my eyelid, I did White Chocolate, which was kind of a light gold. And then I used Chocolate Glazed uh, for the very inner corner um, and for my brow bone highlight. So those are the eight shades that I used from the Chocolate Donut Palette for look number three. And then look number four was using my Glam Light Pie Palette. I told you guys I might do this, and I did, but I used this center shade. It's called Cherry Pie Blush. I did use this one as an eyeshadow. It worked beautiful. It was like the lightest transition shade. So for this look, I used this one. Let's see. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then I use these two shimmers right here. So let me go ahead and show you guys that look. So like I said, I did start off with the blush shade as my lightest transition shade. It was beautiful. I darkened it up with Sweet Potato, and then I went a little bit darker with Mixed Berry. Mixed Berry is a beautiful pink shade. Just beware if uh, that it does stain your eyelids. It stained mine, but I didn't mind that at all. By like within 12, less than 24 hours, it was gone. And then I took this shade Mud Pie. It is a matte brown shadow, and I used that in my outer corner and through my transition for the deepest color. And then I couldn't decide what to do on my lid, so I took blackberry and blueberry and mixed them together on my finger and then applied them to my eyelid with my finger so they are literally mixed together. It's not that one fades into the other. They are completely mixed together all over the eyelid and I love the way that looked. So that was look number four and then for look number five that took me all the way down to the 25th and so that means I had six more eyeshadows to use and I'm wearing them today. I pulled back out my Glam Light Burger Slider Palette and I used six of the shades here. So I used, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these around the edge, and I do have uh, swatches of them right here. So I did start off with this eyeshadow. This is for the look that I'm wearing today. I started off with this one. This is called Onion Rings. I deepened it up a little bit with this shade called Bun. This one is called Patty, and I do have that one in the outer corner and blended through. So these are the three matte shades I have on the top of my lid. This pink one I have on the bottom, uh, the bottom lash line. This one is called Red Onions, and then I have these two shimmers on my lid. This kind of more orangey one I have on the outer portion of my eyelid, and it's called Tomatoes. And then this one is called French Fries, and I do have that one on the inner portion of my eyelid. So that is all 31 eyeshadows for the month of July. So I talked to Jen. Um, if you guys go and check out her channel, I do have her link down below. You'll see that she hasn't been posting recently. She is taking a little bit of break from YouTube. She may post here and there, I'm not quite sure, but she is still doing this challenge even though she's not updating everything online. So we talked and we decided that for the month of August, we would like to work on some of our newer palettes. So that's kind of gonna be a th the theme for August which I was really excited about because I have several palettes that are new that I have not played with yet. So let me show you. I chose four palettes. It's way more than the 31 shades I need. But again, I wanna give myself the opportunity to just play with color and have fun and not be restricted to exactly 31 shades. So 
I have two palettes from Juvia's Place that I would like to pull in for August. The first one is the Bronze Rustic Palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is palette number one. The second one from Juvia's Place is the Blush Rose Palette. And it looks like this. It is absolutely gorgeous and I'm excited to uh, wear this one. And then I decided to pull in both of my Nomad palettes. The first one is Cartagena Magica. And it looks like this, just kind of really pretty summery colors. That's exactly what I wanna be wearing right now. So I thought I would put this one in. And then because I did pull this one in, I did wanna pull, pull in this one. This is Iceland Fire and Ice Palette from Nomad Cosmetics. And it looks like this. It does have some cool tones, but we do still have some warm tones. I don't mind wearing shades, um, like the blues and cool tones like that, that would be kind of more of a summer shades. I don't, I mean, sorry, winter shades. I don't mind wearing them in the summer. So these are the four palettes that I am going to be working on uh, throughout the month of August. Like I always do at the beginning of a video, if I have an eyeshadow look on from one of these palettes, I will tell you guys, I will go through the shades and then I will come back towards the end of August and do another update just like this with pictures and swatches and everything so that you guys can see uh, how I have worn these shades. So that is everything that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this update. Please go check out the list of everybody else who's doing this challenge. It is a lot of fun. If you wanna join us, please feel free to. There are people doing it here on YouTube as well as over on Instagram, so be sure to check all of that out. So if you haven't already, I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel before you go and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.